I've always known about the upcoming book. That's no secret. Um, the truth always comes to light. The truth came to light even in Emmett's passing. Uh, as, a, as a movement was galvanized, the civil rights was galvanized, the truth came to light. Uh, as our millennials are moving and fighting for justice, the truth is coming to light. Until the American Constitution gives us all of our rights, the truth is going to continue to come to light. Our family has always known the truth. The truth shall set you free. Um, she hasn't said anything that we did not always know. So what I feel that what she's doing is she's trying to do something to redeem her own self. She's doing something to uh, to to free her own her own mind, clear her conscience. That's something that she needs to do for herself. But our family has always been free. She's never owned Emmett's spirit. He's been, he's been free. So this is all about her. It's not about our family. Um, if your cousin was still alive, um, what would she have said knowing now what has come out about this woman? Mamie? Mm -hmm. I believe she probably would have listened to her. Um, well, before she died, she forgave Emmett's murderers. So to forgive Emmett's murderers, two men who, who did such heinous things to her only child, that's still, to me, unfathomable. Um, thank you for telling me the truth, you know, thank you, I hope for, I hope somehow this has helped to clear your conscience, to help you, um, deal with what you have to deal with, because on judgment day, that's something that you're going to have to deal with, with God. Has there been any previous requests to sit down with her? Yes. Yes. And what's come about that? Now all of a sudden she's she's revealing the truth on her end. You want to ask that? Well, actually, she has always refused to meet with the family or to talk about it with the family. Um, that's why I, when I heard it, I'm going, well, why now? What is she going to benefit from it at this point in our lives? Is she on her deathbed? Uh, is it for financial gain? What exactly is it uh, that motivated her to come out with this statement? I think it's more than just about Emmett. Um, I want to say a, a, a good percentage is about Emmett Hill and educating our, our, our youth about Emmett and what happened and those who've never heard about Emmett. But 75% or more is about Mamie. Um, Mamie, she did what many mothers are doing today. She was the first one, and she did it when her life was on the line. It's about a woman's movement at this point. I think we have to look at our women today and what they're doing. We just had the, the Women's March, and our women are standing up, and they're fighting for justice. And we're, you know, we're showing that we're the strength that we had and what, what, that we have and what we're about and what we're doing. And I think we have to look at what Mamie did as a woman. She stood up and she fought earnestly for justice until she died. And people have to look at that. That's, that's where the fight came in. You know, Emmett passed, but Mamie stood up and she fought. And she fought a good fight until she died. So it's more than just the story of Emmett Till and what happened to him. I think we need to look at the fight and how she fought, and she was up against a lot when she fought. During a, during a time when it was a lot more against her than what's against people, our, our women today.